And welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood. And now you've met my producer, my new producer, Alex. And welcome aboard, Alex. So this is going to be great. And Adrian was in there doing the production part while Alex was on the camera with me. So thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. I have a couple of things that y'all may need to know about. Uh, I'm do only doing one show this week and one show next week because next week's show would be taped on 4th of July, and we'll all be out of here for 4th of July. So let me tell you about some things coming up. This Thursday night on June the 28th, Tim Poteet will be at the Cleveland Bradley Chamber of Commerce Artisans Workshop Series at 7 o'clock. It's $5. Go online to register, and it's how to be a songwriter. And I know Tim writes songs. He's also a singer, so that should be very, very good, folks. <clears throat> I may even try to go to that one. I've been out of town every Thursday night, but this one, I'm not sure. If I'm in town, I'm going to try to go to that one. Also, the market at the mill, at the old woolen mill, is open now on Thursdays from 3 to 6. And I've already seen on Facebook some people that have gone by the market, gotten food. In fact, Eddie Cartwright, quit doing that. Quit putting that on there because I'm going to show up on your doorstep one night and say I'm ready to see the veggies that you got. Uh, but people are going by there and they're getting their vegetables and going home and fixing them fresh uh, that night. So Thursdays through the summer, as long as the vegetables and the fruits are last, Thursdays from 3 to 6 at the Old Woolen Mill. Now, folks, if it storms, I don't know what to tell you because it's storming right now outside. It stormed earlier and now it's storming again. So I don't know what to tell you. But then jamming on the Greenway, the Salvation Army has that going on. Uh, there's one coming up the 29th of this month, and then we get into July 6, 13, 20, and 27. Those are free. You just take your chairs and go out there or your blanket, not on this wet ground, but whatever, and a little picnic dinner if you want to. Starts at 7 o'clock, jamming on the Greenway. Now, we got a whole lot of things going on at the library that are really interesting. On July 17th, from 3.30 to 4.30 at the library will be Runaway Puppets. And that's a puppet show, which I think will be absolutely awesome. And that is from 3.30 to 4.30. And I'm going to say it's in the community room. Now, remember that the that your library, your library, has a, feeding, a free feeding program on Wednesdays from 1 to 2.30 at the library in the community room. First come, first serve. When they run out of food, folks, I'm sorry they've run out. And after that, you can stay for a movie or for gaming time. So I think that is awesome, ages birth to 18. And then they have a couple of really great movies coming up. Mary Poppins is going to be shown in the community room on Wednesday the 27th. That's like Wednesday of this week, the 27th at 2 p.m. And then hang around after the movie for board games and uh, um, and we on big screen so you may be playing tennis you may be doing whatever you want to on the way but anyway that is mary poppins <clears throat> and i remember seeing that movie years ago and loved it it was great and i could still sing you some songs from there but you really don't want me to and then on friday the 30th at 7 p.m the teen after hours <clears throat> excuse me and they're going to show les miserables or les mis as we like to call it and that's pg-13 Dinner is provided, and this program is going to be in the community room and will end at 9.30. So from 7 to 9.30, there's a dinner, and there's the movie Les Mis, and it is teen after hours. Now, Les Mis is not the most joyful. It's totally different from Mary Poppins, folks. The music in Les Mis is fantastic. The music in Mary Poppins is fantastic, um, but totally different movies, so totally, diff totally different genres. Now, on July the 4th, which is next week, there are some local fireworks. Well, let me start with <clears throat> July 2nd at Lake Winnipesoka at 10 o'clock, fireworks. Now, all of this is going to be fireworks, folks, so just get your pencil and paper out. If you want to see several fireworks shows, here's your opportunity. July 2nd, Lake Winnie, 10 o'clock. Now, July 3rd, Pops on the River at Coolidge Park at 10 o'clock. Now, my husband and I used to take our son when he was younger at that time, they did Pops in the Park at the battlefield at Chickamauga. That was awesome. You're sitting out there among the monuments and the history of Chickamauga Battlefield, and you're sitting in your chairs and, and your blanket on the ground, and you take your picnic dinner. And we had a great time, and my son's going to just die if he knows I tell this on television, but we were in the middle of the concert, and someone came on the loudspeaker and said, does everyone know where their children are right now? I thought my husband knew where I was. He thought I knew where ours was. 
And they said some of the children were on the tower and climbing on the monuments. So, of course, it was my job to go find ours and get him off the tower. Uh, so, because those, you know, we don't, they don't like for us to do that. That's kind of a something they don't want anybody doing because they might get hurt. But anyway, we've moved from the Chickamauga Battlefield, I digress, which I tend to do, to Coolidge Park at 10 o'clock on July the 3rd, Pops on the River. And that is great. They play all this wonderful patriotic music. You can sing along or not. Now, also, at on July 3rd, Collegedale Freedom Celebration at the Veterans Park. And uh, I'm not sure what time that starts, but I'm sure you can go to the College... College Dale Freedom Celebration. I should have written that down. Uh, Nine o'clock, possibly. All right, July 4th. Here's some options for you for July 4th. AT&T Field after the Lookouts game, uh, and that'll be after the Lookouts game, probably 9.30, 10 o'clock. All right, then Cleveland at 9.30 at the Bradley Square Mall. The fireworks are going to be set up at the T.L. Lowry Building, and then the fireworks will be shot off, and you I live in Georgetown, and I can see the fireworks from there. It's a beautiful display. That's at 930. All right, if you want to make two trips, Cottonport Marina says they're going to have theirs at 7 o'clock, which, you know, it's not dark at 7 o'clock, but maybe on the river up there it's going to be a little darker. I don't know, 7 o'clock at, at Cottonport. And then in Sweetwater, they're going to have an Independence Day celebration all day from 3 to 11, and after dark their fireworks will start. And that's a great event. I've, I've been there before. In fact, the choir I was directing years ago sang there a couple of times. Now, this Saturday, I want to tell you about this Saturday at Tractor Supply, the Walker Valley Bass Club uh, will have a car wash from 8 until 1. And this is a fundraiser for the, I started to say the boys. We may have some girls in there, too. The, they're going to the Bass Masters National High School Championship, and they need to do a little fundraising. So from 8 to 1 Saturday at Tractor Supply, go and support these athletes from Walker Valley. They're bass fisher, fisher people, and I want you to go out and support them. Now, <clears throat> on June the 30th, we have Penora Pints and Pups from 12 to 3, and it's going to be hosted by the Community Foundation for the dog park, and I think this is the dog park they're wanting to put over at the Blythe Bower area, and this is at Mash and Hops, uh, 168 First Street Northeast. So that's happening on June the 30th from 12 to 3. So you can get your car washed and then go to Pints and Pups and support two great events. Now, I noticed in the banner, and thank you, Banner, for these things that you give me that I loved. I cut out, and here we go. Now, there's going to be a free two-day camp, July 10 and 11, at the Blythe Bower Elementary School. And it starts, it's from 9.30 to 11.30, and there's no pre-registration. You just show up and have this camp. And this camp is a soccer camp. And we have two people that are leading it, Ginger Harness and Dr. Don Br John Bratcher uh, will be over there to do the South Cleveland Soccer Mini Camps, free to all ages, five through 10. And that is July the 10th and 11th from 9.30 to 11.30. Free, free, okay? So I wanted y'all to know about that. Now there's still some camps going on at the museum. They've had, they finished up some camps, but there's some more going on. Starting July 16th, the art of woodworking, that's ages 10 and up because you're going to be using some little carving apparatuses, so they want to be sure you're old enough, so that's the art of woodworking. Then July 19 and 20, art for little ones, ages 4 to 6. July 23rd through 27, adventures in archaeology, ages 7 through 12. And I may be mistaken, that one might be full, but you might want to go ahead and call them and get on the waiting list in case somebody drops out. And then these two, I think, are fascinating. July 30th and July 31st, we're going to have Family Canning Day at our cannery, and I need to try to get Mary Lou on with us and tell you all about our cannery because it's there. It's free for you to use to make your jellies, to can your beans, to make your salsa, to make your soups, to do whatever you need to do. You just need to bring your jars, and you need to bring whatever it is you're going to can, your tomatoes, your beans, whatever. So I'm not sure what family canning is going to do, but I'm going to assume it might be green beans. That's about the time they will be coming in. And then August the 2nd and 3rd, right before school starts, Archaeology for Little Ones, ages 4 to 6. Now, for information for those, you can either visit the museumcenter.org 
org backslash summer camp or you can call them at 339-5745. Now, there is a fee to each one of these camps, and each one of them vary, like the Environmental Science on the Greenway, which they will have the 25th. By the way, that is coming up. That's just a one-day event, so that cost is going to be less. Uh, July 16th was just a one-day, so it'll be less. Some of the two-day, three-day, four-day camps are more, and if you're a museum member, you do get a discount. So those things are coming up, and... Then also, this is fascinating, and I need to see if I can get somebody on from Calhoun Town Festival in Calhoun, July 14th from 10 to 6, and they've got a whole lot of things going on, and one of them is the Cardboard go cardboard Boat Regatta. Uh, it's an event in which participants c construct seaworthy boats out of cardboard and win awards for the best design as well as for the grandest sinking of the boats. So if your boat's not the best design, you might still win a prize because it sunk the grandest. So I will call Mr. Joe Bryan and see if I can get somebody on here to talk about that because that's coming up July the 14th, and I think that will be so much fun because they are great folks, and they do a great job there in Calhoun. I know that personally because I taught there for eight years. Great community lot going on there and then we have a lot of things at the library which I've already told you about the two movies that you definitely want to see and I've told you about the free reading and the free eating and the summer reading programs are going on there and ah library musical if you're a good reader good singer or good at playing an instrument join us for the library's first musical for children it's all about having fun that's Thursdays from 6.45 to 8.30 for rehearsals. Um, our performance for families and friends will be held on July 26th at 7. Dress rehearsal will be on the 25th. And this program is for ages 4 to 17. I don't know what the theme or what the name of it is, but that should be fun, folks. And uh, it says for friends and families, so hopefully that's, that's anyone in the community that would like to go by and see that. So there's all, all kinds of things they still do. The Legos, they have the book nook, and they, they have all kinds of things going on at the library, folks. So clevelandlibrary.org, go on there and see what they are doing because it's really, really awesome. And I have actually torn the cover off of my Bradley Essential, which I've been carrying around with me. But I will tell you a couple of things I want to tell you. The two gals that came on that were going to the National History event, they came in in the top 20 out of 100, which, good for you girls, that's great, represented Bradley County and themselves and Lake Forest Middle School awesomely. The Beta Club of Bradley Central placed first in the National Beta Club Show Choir Competition. Yay. And we have summer reading programs are in full swing at all of our county schools, so all you have to do is go to each county school website and check it out and see when their summer reading programs are. And I think that's about all I have to tell you today, except that this is our only show we're going to tape this week. So if you miss it today, you can see it tomorrow or the next day or the next day. And next week we will only tape on Monday because 4th of July comes on Wednesday and we're all going to be gone somewhere celebrating. And so for the rest of this week, folks, this is Nancy's Neighborhood. I've had a great day with you today. And so bye-bye.